Action. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> I know, we're here. <laughs> uh, action is always surprising to me. It takes me off guard every time. We've only done it 200 times Exactly. Now. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to Friday. Um, and thank God it's Friday. And happy Friday. Um, everybody's... Whoa, I know. Oh, I, what? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, today... I'm in a bad mood. No, I'm not. I'm never... Never. Bad. You know that. Everybody's wearing flowers except me today. So, Christine has flowers on, Kate has flowers, Michelle has flowers. Oh, except Lindsay. Lindsay's, yeah, Lindsay's, Lindsay's, Lindsay's got flowers, flowers on her shoes. shoes. That's right. I forgot mine. So... The flowers on your shoes? Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, welcome. We've got another wonderful project for you today. Um, we're going to continue our series of bench of buddies. Bench buddies. That's right. So you're doing Fun. which ones? November. November. What month are we in? <laughs> November. <laughs> I'm telling you, I need a clock that tells me that. So again, we're going to be doing the bench buddy pillows um, today, um, November's edition, and some fun stuff. So I think you're going to enjoy that. Um, we have a winner? We do have a winner. Yay. So this is... I really cute. We did it in the summer, isn't it? It is. We did it in July. Christmas in July. <laughs> okay, it was a corner, <laughs> actually. Christmas stuff, right? Yeah. This is fake Christmas. So this what, is... this is fake Christmas stuff? <laughs> 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 in July. 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 In going to tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that opening is not so. It might, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. It's a trademark. We always know Christine that's makes right, exactly. opening is not so enough. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Well, exactly. congratulations, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. So, um, I also, I have a joke. So I'm going to do a boy. joke. We haven't done a joke in a couple of days. We haven't. Oh, no, that's right. I don't know why when you want to have jokes, they're hard, so hard to find. I can't ever find good ones. No, I can't either. This isn't yeah. a good one, but at least it's a joke. So, Kate didn't laugh at all. I did not laugh. No, but anyway, we'll try. All right. All right. This is a sad story of depression that can haunt a man. Marcel was sick and tired of the world, of COVID-19, of the election, of Brexit. Brexit? Is that a thing? Brexit? Yeah. I know what that is. Uh, racial tensions and the rest of the disturbing stories that occupy media headlines. Marcel drove his car into his garage and then sealed every doorway and window as best he could. He got back into his car and wound down all the windows, selected his favorite radio station and started the car. Four days later, a worried neighbor peered through the garage window and saw him in the car. She notified the emergency services and they broke in, pulling Marcel from his car. A little sip of water and surprisingly, he was in perfect condition but his Tesla had a dead battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That was pretty funny. But. I guess. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Are you ready to move on? Are ready to move on. All right. Let's All right. Um, any announcements, by the way? We so. have our pumpkin spice everything oh, pumpkin nice spice, tomorrow. Yes, and uh, I did send out the link. So again, if you guys did not receive your link to the class for tomorrow, uh, make sure you let us know. Check your spam because I, I think a lot of them are going into the spam folders or the. Um, so, but anyway, um, you can also let us know, and I'll send it back out to you. So we Perfect. did send that out about ten o'clock this morning, so you should have it by now. Perfect. Cool. All right. All right. Sounds from good. Here it comes to Christine. Okay. Who's filming? I'll film. Okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. Um, See, I got some laughs. I got a couple laughs. A couple. All right. <laughs> so today's um, Bench Buddy series is going to be the November one. So these are the two November um, projects. I think, yeah, okay. So we did have to substitute this fabric because it is no longer available. So the kits do look a little bit different than my original ones, um, but they're still super cute. So today during class, we're going to be stitching this one out and it's done in two separate hoopings. So you do make this pumpkin and these little berries in one hooping and then you embroider the rest in another and then you sew it all together. So this is the one we're gonna be doing during class. 
And then I am going to, I have embroidered another one of this pillow so I can show you how the pull flowers work. So oh, there, cool. there are kits for today for both pillows. Um, so there's the rectangle pillow, square pillow kit, the square kit. So the square kit does not include the pull flowers. So for this particular pillow, you use one full set of the Kimberbell fall pull flowers. Wow. And I am gonna show you how to do those and then I'm gonna show you how to hot glue them on really nicely. All right, no, I'm just kidding. You do hands <laughs> on them on, but I do not. Um, so we are gonna be, get. we'll get started with this one. What did you use hot glue? For? For the pull flowers. Uh, to put them on my yeah. pillow? Yeah, oh. absolutely I did. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, we obviously have the square inserts that Kimberbell creates and the rectangle one. Um, so if you haven't used these before, they are really, really nice because I don't know how they get them so full and fluffy, but I think they're definitely worth it. Um, and they probably every, put stuffing in them to do that, I think. But it, it, is, <laughs> it is so hard to make your own pillow and get it this stuffed and then closed again. Oh, I so see. So okay. I've tried, and it's not easy. And I don't hand sew, so maybe that's where it comes in. Um, everything that we are talking about today is online as well. So if you guys want to do your online purchases, you are more than welcome to. Um, but if you want to stick to the way you've been doing it before, that's okay too. Um, but we can go ahead and get started. Um, how much are the kits? Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. They are ten ninety nine, so both of them are ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine for either square or, or rectangle. rectangle. So just make sure you you uh, clarify that when you when you put your remarks down. Yes. Um, and there, uh, most of the products are online, by the way. I think we have most of these up today. So if you um, want to order online, you can do that also. Um, it's under the products tab, and you go to the Facebook Live, and that's where you can find them. Ten ninety nine on the kit. Okay, so what we're gonna get started with is first we have our kit here, and we are going to take. So you have your twine, you have your burlap, you have your mylar, and your tool. <laughs> <laughs> we got the tool. We, we got the tool. And you're going to have your one side piece of the pillow. You are going to have two backing pieces. So you'll have two pieces. One is a little bit shorter and one is a little bit longer. I might need to measure these and make sure I'm using the right one for the right piece. But we'll figure that out when we get there. The first step we're going to do is we're going to take our background fabric that we are doing the embroidery on. And I am going to iron on a piece of Baby Lock Ultra Soft Fusible. So, um, no, Debbie, the pull flower ribbon is not included in the kit. That's going to be an extra purchase. And again, if you're going to use do the square pull the square kit, you're going to use one whole pull flower thing. Um, There's like five different pull right. flowers in there, right? Yep. Yep. And you can actually cut those pull flowers. Uh, like in half and make a little bit smaller ones. So you could probably get two pillows out they, of one package. They need to own the CD on this one, right? Correct. That so is, yeah, this yes. is out of the, um, here, I'll go grab it. This is out of the, um, this was our series that we started doing on that CD that has the bench buddies. So this, and then we will be doing in December, we'll be doing these ones as well. So we, we've done, we've done all the months. Um, well, we sort of started half, we started in October, but whatever. So this is what we're doing today. So it's out of the Bench Buddy series, September through December. Okay. Pull flowers, how much are they again? I can't remember. $14.99. Is that right, Kate? Hey. I believe they're like $14.95, but we'll double check. They might be $16. Okay, so I have ironed my um, Ultra Soft Fusible on the background of my block that's going to have the embroidery on it and I'm going to take all my goodies over to my table and my scissors and my hoops. We're working on the opposite side of the table. Oh, are we? Uh-oh. <laughs> weird. Hold on. Hold, please. We did that in unison. That was good. <laughs> okay. So... Set this stuff aside. 
Yeah, the pull flowers are really neat. You'll like when Christine shows you how to do those. They're kind of fun. Okay. So. Cool. All right. So we are going to bring up the rectangle pillow. And I just have a layer of no-show mesh, cutaway no-show mesh. And I am going to bring up the rectangle design. So if you look at the screen. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yep. <laughs> so it's going to give you three designs for November. Okay. And this CD is what? $34.95? I don't know. Those are all things I should have known. That's right. Lindsay, can you look and see how much that um, CD is, please? Yes. You'll probably have to scan it. And the whole flowers, too. Thanks. They are cute little pillows, by the way. So you have three designs, okay? So this is going to be the um, right side of the pillow. And then these are going to be your little 3D things. We are going to do this part first. And we are going to do embroidery. It requ requires a five by seven hoop. And we have got that on there. I don't know what color it goes first, but the first stitch is going to go directly on top of your stabilizer for a placement of your fabric. So you're going to do the first stitch and I'm just doing mine in orange. You guys will be able to see it nicely. Yep. We're getting a price for you guys on the CD. So $39.95 for the CD. And again, it's going to give you all three months. So it's going to give you September. It's four months. Four months, sorry. <laughs> it's a quarter or a <laughs> quarter. third of a year thing. So September through December, yep. um, you'll get the both a square and a rectangle, rectangle for pattern for each month. And then the pull flowers? 16? Okay, so there's $16.99. For the pull flowers, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my background fabric and I am going to sort of just center it on here. So I have seam allowance at the top, seam allowance at the bottom, top and bottom. And I'm going to do my next stitch, which is going to tack down my fabric. Yeah. They noticed our USB stick. See the USB? <laughs> kind of fun. Those are things you can win if you take our Kimberbell events. That's good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has to have one. Uh, that's right. Along with a pin. <laughs> and remember, everything that we talk about, of course, is 20% off. And they are on the website. So. Okay. And then it is going to do our little leaf. And I'm just changing it to sort of a darker orange color because that's what I want to do. Oops. And it'll stitch that out. You know what, Mickey, we're having so much fun with these that we'll probably continue it into the new year. Yeah, because we sort of started late in the year. Yeah, exactly. It would be cute because they have them. Um... Yeah, they've got them for all. Um, they've got three separate ones, of course, that cover four months at a time. So we're probably going to continue this as one of our features. Believe it or not. We haven't run out of ideas yet, but this helps because when we got something that we can do over and over again on these lives. There's the leaves. Okay, so here is the January, February, March, and April. So there's the square for January, which is really cute. It is super cute. The rectangle. The square for April. So what? Are, oh, they February. probably have um, probably have hearts for February, huh? Yeah, it's like actually a little mason mason jar with like confetti and stuff in it. Oh, really that's cute. cute. Yeah. So that is the, and then this one is chenille, which is really cute. So that's April, and then May, June, July, and August is this one. Yeah, they do a great job. Really you can cute. just keep making them all year. 
over and over and over. Okay. So those are all of them. So we'll probably do those next year. <laughs> it's weird that we're saying that. Like it's just right around the corner. Jan says she loves the lives, but they're hard on her budget. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they're really cute. And once you make the investment on the CD, it's not too bad. Kits are pretty cheap. All right, now we're going to put brown on. These, this month, these two uh, pillows are really simple, which I like. Super cute and super easy. So I got a, um, what do they call that? A poll to take. That's what it was for, for all of you guys. I don't know if you guys knew this. I don't know why I'm making you guys do the poll. I should be doing it to the YouTube people. But um, we're putting these videos, or we started putting them on YouTube. And um, uh, I'm Tell realizing. Why. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go on. I'm. I'm actually realizing that YouTube audience and Facebook audience are two different audiences. So, um, so our comments on YouTube are like, I really, really like the video, but that annoying man, would you get him to shut up, please? Make the man shut up. <laughs> so, so I decided not to do, uh, not to do YouTube you anymore. Can a private group on YouTube? Yeah, I'm wondering. There might be a different way to? to do that. So I don't know. All right, and then I'm going to keep the. You see, brown some of them watch both, though. So forgive thanks. Will You're... you get your answer? That's right. Yeah, so I don't know whether to put them on YouTube or to. Um... Or to just do it on Facebook and so I guess that's my poll. I wanted to know how really what you guys think. He listened to you? It was actually very funny, Terry. I didn't mind. It it made me laugh. Mm -hmm. I told him to take a nap. <laughs> he said, and he said okay. No. It's not no, I didn't mean everybody's feeling bad for me. <laughs> it actually made me giggle a little bit. I'm going, yeah, I guess I can be a little annoying. <laughs> uh, no, we're used to that. That's right. No, we won't give up Facebook. We're gonna continue to do Facebook. <laughs> That's right. They don't. Those YouTubers have no sense of humor. I think they go on to actually learn stuff. All right. We'll keep putting it on YouTube. I can... <laughs> I guess they don't have to watch <laughs> if they don't want to. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't put it on YouTube for a week or so because I, I didn't... Like I said, I just didn't know if the audience was different. And you're right, they can turn us off. That's right. What, are you trying to learn how to do this? No, I was just trying to make sure I was going to use the right piece for my backing. And oh, I side. see. Okay. No, I'm not trying to learn how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's taking forever, though. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just letters. It should be quick. Do you have the jump stitches? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, Patty, what that means. Jump stitch through Kimberbell? Jump stitch designs, if that's what she's talking about through Kimberbell, is on their website. It's actually something that you purchase off of their website. And it's, I think it's like mykimberbell.com. Uh-oh, Debbie, let me check. Uh, Deborah. I'm going to check your comments back here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm really good at missing comments too, by the way.
I definitely missed them. You might have to repeat that, Deborah, because I cannot find your comments on here. Uh oh. I know. I think she had a question that I didn't answer. Obviously. Obviously is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once you're kit, done. Kit price is $10.99, by the way, and there are two kits today, so two different kits so, one for square and one for rectangle. So this is your first part. And I am using the 4x4 for my next part. So I have already rehooped. I have two layers of dissolve away mesh for this second part. So you're gonna now make the pumpkin and the little um, berry things. So we're gonna bring in those on our machine. Okay, so for this, you're gonna do it directly on your stabilizer. You do need matching bobbins. So the first part is gonna be brown for the stem of the pumpkin. So I am putting a brown bobbin in my thread or in my <laughs> in my machine. And yes, Carol, all the hoops will work uh, on, on the Meridian will work from your dream machine. So uh, it's the same size hooping system and everything. So if you Just wanted to do a... If yeah. you don't have the scanning on them, you can't use them for that purpose. That's correct, yeah. yeah. So, but yes, all the hoops will work. The Dream Machine and the Meridian are interchangeable. So all right. Now... They said they love you too, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I love them too. <laughs> That's right. So we are now making this little 3D pumpkin uh, and, yeah. The little berries. The little berries. Pumpkin, pumpkin berries. So that's what we're making right this second. Yes, Lori, we will get that taken care of for you. All right. Now I am going to take and put a... What in the world is that? It's a stem. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my orange bobbin and my orange top thread to do my pumpkin part. Oh, come on. Have any of the ladies used the Kimberbell quilting for Twilight Boulevard? Um, did Christine, not. did you? No? Nope. I think most of them, Linda, are doing it on their own. So they're actually using IQ uh, Designer to do that. So I don't no, think I've seen a lot. I mean, out on Facebook, anyways, a lot of people using the Twilight one. Oh, have you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, I did not. Personally, did not. Okay, so then I'm going to do my next stitch, which is the outline of the pumpkin, and um, you are going to lay down. Yes. No, there is not a tearaway dissolve away mesh. It's, it's all cutaway, Bridget, on the on the dissolve away mesh. They do have a tear away, wash away stabilizer. It's rinse away, tear away, but it's not like the Met. I mean, it's a it's more of a traditional tear away. Hope that answered your questions. Okay, so <laughs> now you have a placement stitch and you're going to lay one layer of tool down and completely covering up that placement line. Okay, there we go. Okay. What are you doing? So I laid one layer of tulle, which is kind of hard to see. It and then is. I have a layer of iridescent mylar. So I'm going to lay that over my tulle. And then a second piece of tulle over the top of that. I'm going to return the hoop to the machine. I would tape it. I'm not going to tape it. Tape it, please. <laughs> and then I would tape going... this, ladies. Do not sew your hands. You won't. Doesn't it like crinkle up on you if you don't tape it? No. Then you just let it ride. Because it does the tack down. Bridget, I'm so proud of you. You even spelled tool correctly. <laughs> T-U-L-L-E. T-U-L-L-E, that's right. And do we sell it? No, we don't sell it. No? Oh, <laughs> bummer. Yeah, sorry, we don't sell it it is going to be in your kits though eventually kate made <laughs> kate made 60 of these kits and forgot to put the tool in there but 
better her than me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, Vicky, that's no fun at all. She sewed her finger. I've never done that. Knock on wood. Yeah, I was gonna say those uh, decorative fills on, if you're gonna do the quilting for these Kimberbell stuff are, are awesome. They are. Yeah. Happy Friday to you too, June. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Kate could talk about our new class. I don't remember when she's putting it in. Ow. <laughs> Beth, I hate to say this and don't take offense to it, but that doesn't surprise me got a piece of sewing machine needle in the bone in her finger. Yeah, from a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you found that when you tried to cut your finger off. I remember that. Yep. <laughs> Kate, after I cut this, do you want to talk about the new class that you're putting in? Because it'll be embroidering for three minutes. I lost my sound. Could you tell me if you get one of those USB drives? So, Marie, I'm not sure. The Kimberbell ones? Is that what they're talking about? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the Kimberbell USBs are something that when we do, um, I guess, event orders, we earn different prizes um, for different amounts of money. And then when we get those, we give them away at our events. So when you do one of our events, we put your name in a bucket and they're a part of a giveaway. So that's how you get them. I got them because I took them. <laughs> I got one out at Kimberbell and I filled it up. Christine's and picked then, her name a lot, so. <laughs> and then I have that one. Um, I don't remember where I got that one. Um, I think I actually took one of the classes out there and they gave me one with some stuff on it. Betty wants to know if you had a chance to watch the video on pinwheels. I did not get a chance to watch that, but I'm going to because I have to practice my pinwheels. So I'm not very good at pinwheels. Okay, so now we are... You no, know, Patty, we are going to put the tool in the kits. So yeah, don't... They uh, yeah, there. they are in there. We, we just forgot them this morning. So, oh, shoot. And you picked one up yeah, this morning. So that I was going to mention. If you have <laughs> picked a kit up, come in and we can get you some tool. It's just two little three-inch squares of tool that you'll need. So we can get that for you if you have already picked that kit up. We didn't send too many out. So if you did pick one up, let us know and we'll get it for you. Yeah, sorry about that. Kate was like, what tool? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay, so now I'm trimming. And they do suggest trimming each layer by itself. So I trimmed my first layer of tool. No, oh, she's been up. sewing along. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Patty. Up to my stitches. I, I honestly think it would work without the tool. You should try it and let us know. Yeah, look what the look it gives to you here because it's really sparkly it is so cool i like it a so, lot yeah and they do so like i was saying they do recommend you trim each layer so do your first layer of tool then your mylar and then your second layer of tool okay Oops, so hold on so now <laughs> nobody we, wanted to see your lap i don't think no <laughs> so now we are ready to do our satin stitching around our pumpkin and i'm still keeping the same color thread in the bobbin as i do have up top okay The um, tool is a, um, can you show them? It's a really thin, like, netting. netting type of material. And the mylar is more of a plastic. So it's, uh, they're two entirely different things. But when you combine them together, they give you a really sparkly look mylar to your like project. Mylar is like foil, it's not plastic. It, it's like foil? Yeah. Like it's a like mylar plastic. balloon, do you feel like that's plastic? It's like plastic foil. <laughs> So this is kind of what tool is like. So it's like a really lightweight netting. That's and right. Mylar is, not, I mean, if you can. Do, it's. You know, it's 
like yeah, oil. I guess it's like. And so this is oil. the iridescent mylar. So this one kind of takes on a bunch of different colors. Pretty cool. Yes. Okay. And she's using brown or orange. She just matched her bobbin thread with her upper thread. So yep. she's using the orange upper thread and a brown bobbin thread. Yep. Okay. And, you know, I would probably go with a, um, you could use an all-purpose thread in the bobbin, right? Um, in for if this? If you want, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, they just recommend you doing it because it's freestanding, but you're never really going to see the backside. Yeah. of it in this case now when we do these little berries i would recommend doing the same color in the top as the bobbin because they're really it's like just thread all we have here is thread there's no material or anything so i would recommend that yes and you're right using it on top and the bottom it does give it a little more shape and a little more body to the um to the pumpkin okay kate's ready kate's ready she's ready in that case, we better get over there. She's right here. I came to you. Oh, good. You can sit back down again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are trying to add some more classes to our online class calendar. Um, so we do have a new class that is going to be coming up the first week in December. So this is going to be December the 8th. And it has nothing to do with Kimberbell. You guys will be so proud of us. We're no, moving we're out on our own. Do some sewing and I'm also, I've got a couple of surging ones that I'm going to be putting in there too. Oh, cool. So okay. So we're trying to incorporate some more um, online classes for you. So this is the, um, the next one that we have scheduled. It is December 8th from 10 to 4. And it is um, the Dresden Mini Christmas Wreath class. And we're kidding that, right? It is a complete kit. I like how you say we're. We, yeah, like we are. We we are. Like you and him. I, I've been working really, really hard on these kits, ladies. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a fear that I may run out of these kits. Um, if that's the case, I do have a substitution. Fabric. You have a fear. So, um, the class at the moment has a limit of twenty students because I only have twenty kits that are ready to go. So anybody that signs up beyond that will get an opportunity for a different fabric. It's still very, very pretty. It's actually a Christmas poinsettia fabric, okay? And when you um, buy this kit, ladies, you're automatically enrolled in the class. Correct. So keep that in mind, okay? And the kit is thirty seven forty nine. Thirty-seven forty-nine. everything but your batting. So and the sample, class is free with the kit, is that right? right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And my sample is not quilted. It doesn't have the backing on it yet, um, but the kit does include the backing and the binding. And is, the there main, a, is there a template ruler needed for the class? No. You ready for this? Everything is pre-cut for you. <laughs> How's that, Wanda? Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, Kate, you don't... You didn't make near enough kits. <laughs> so, <laughs> these are actually cut on the AccuQuilt. Um, will you grab me that AccuQuilt die that's on the side there, please, Lindsay? The so, one you kept knocking over. The um, AccuQuilt, um, all of your wedges are going to be pre-cut for you. And they actually even have the notches on them. Can they see the notch there, Patrick? Oh, yeah, look at that little uh -huh. notch. Yeah, now they see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the I'm a great cameraman. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's not your primary job, right? <laughs> um, so it actually cuts all of those little notches out for you. Um, so no, all of the wedges are cut, so there is no ruler. And the um, wedges have all been cut using the AccuQuilt die. I'm not quite sure what that piece of paper is in there. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, Akiko die has the square edge or it has the round edge um, on there. Cool. And it is, even comes with the circle piece for the center. So well, that's pretty awesome. Everything is pre-cut. You will have to cut your binding strips and your borders down to the correct size, but your main wedges and your circle are all pre-cut for you. Very Show cool. the project again. That was really cute. That's my request, by the way. It is really cute. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And it's a really pretty, it's a birdhouse print. It's really a cute, um, I think it's a Depstream mm -hmm. fabric. 
Um, so it's a really pretty pattern. And it's birdhouses with snowflakes. And the rest of the fabrics um, are actually a moda print on them too. So the majority of them are a moda print except for the outside print that was a dead strain. How cool. So that is December 8th, an all day class from 10 until 4. Um, and Patrick and I are going to be teaching that class. Oh, uh, yay. Yeah. I can't wait. That'll be fun. <laughs> Okay. You're not going to have me do any of the sewing, though, right? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I finished my pumpkin. How and... much is the dye? Oh, that's a great question. I, would... I, I think it's eighty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah. yeah, I think it's eighty-nine ninety-nine. Judy, you need the AccuQuilt cutting system, though, for that. So, so that... <laughs> So the first color for the berries is the color that you want for the actual berry part. So it kind of looks deceiving on your screen because it looks like it has the vines, but it is the color that you want for the little berries. So I put like a darker burnt orange on there, which actually matches this burnt orange. Well, good job. I know. I'm so clever. <laughs> <laughs> And Wendy, I did that just for you. She said she had her eyes dilated, so me getting close up like that does good for her. That was random. But I just did that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the stems on the berries. And so I'm changing my bobbin to the brown. And the top. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Okay. So now we're going to stitch. What are we doing? It looks like there's nothing on my screen. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. Okay, so while this is embroidering, why don't we go up to the cutting table whoa, and do our next couple steps? Good idea. All right, we're taking a road trip, ladies. Be careful, hold on. <laughs> okay, so we are going to unhoop. Okay, so- Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> so if we're looking at our directions, so I have this tack down here, okay? Hold on, show that again. This tack down that okay, I did good. in orange, yep. okay? And you are going to use that as a marking guide for your cutting. So you're going to measure over a quarter of an inch of that and you are going to make a line. So I have my line there. I'm gonna come over a quarter of an inch and I am going to draw a line. Okay. And then on our next one, we are gonna come over three quarters of an inch from the right side. So three quarters. Does it matter left and right on this? Yes, left is a quarter. Okay. Right is three quarters. So that is gonna be one quarter, two quarter, three quarters. And we are gonna draw our next line. Okay. And then we are going to cut on those lines that we drew. Good okay. job. And we're going to cut on the other one. And then you are going to cut directly on top of the stitch line going at the, the top, top and the, the bottom. bottom. Okay. 
And this side. Does it matter if you cut your stitches off? Because you just did. Well, whatever. Cut on them, in them. Oh, you, good. You want to cut you don't them. Need so them then. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. And then you are going to remove um, these stitches on the side here. So I'm going to do it the hard way, but. You know, that handy dandy stitch remover would really, really help. It does really help. I'll get it. Uh, we're doing good here. Yeah, you are. Um, so you want to remove those stitches, okay? Getting okay. it. Oh, I don't know why I just figured I was going to say, I didn't there. know why you stopped there either. <laughs> okay, so, and then you're going to do the other side. And these are actually pretty easy to take out, ladies, so. it's Yeah, it's just a basting stitch, so it's not too bad. Okay. Yay. So now we have that, and you'll just pull your strings up from the top. They think you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I enjoy it. At least two of them did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you have your next pieces of fabric. So you have a four and a half by six inch piece, and you have a three and a half by six inch piece. The three and a half goes with the large piece here. So we are gonna take those and set them aside. We are going to take the four, four inch piece by six, and we are going to sew that to, is it this side? I think so. See, we are going to lay that. Oh, so you actually have to sew it with the sewing machine? Yeah. So wow, you're gonna what lay is this all about? Right side down, and I'm actually going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of ultra soft. Sorry, I didn't really think about that earlier. Oh, do you have to? Um... Just so you got to prep consistent. this, right? You've got, are you going to? Yeah, so I put Ultra Soft on this one. So I'm going to put Ultra Soft on this one just to keep it consistent. So, and then we're going to sew these two pieces together. And while we're up at the ironing board, we are going to press these. Okay. Ready? Ready. I'm going to ask Kate to, um, do you need a chair? I'll grab one. I thought you were going to press. I am. Um, Thank you. Turn the iron on. Okay, so while that's heating up before we press, we can go ahead and get these out. So these are ready to be unhooped. And what I do is cut... I cut everything out as close as I can get without cutting the stitches. So. I'm going to get really close and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to get these wet with warm to hot like warmish hot water works i think the best warmish so hot warmish hot. <laughs> <laughs> warm hot that's that's <laughs> um to dissolve away the stabilizer that's so. not to be confused with cool or hot ladies <laughs> so it's warm or hot i think it works better when it's a little bit hotter oh, okay Okay, so I just get as much as I can of the stabilizer. You don't want to get this whole piece of stabilizer wet. It's gooey and yeah, it'll it's mess a mess. up your drains. You don't want that. Okay. Plus, you so, can reuse that. Maybe. No, probably not. No. Okay. So then you're gonna cut those guys out, and we're going to get them wet with warmish hot water. Hey, Kate. Yeah. Will you get us some warmish hot water, please? <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm coming. Alrighty. Now we can press. Let's do it. Do it to it. Okay. So we're going to set those two pieces aside. Those two pieces aside. We got this and we got this. We are going to iron on our ultra soft fusible to the back side of this piece. So shiny side down. Shiny side down to the back, to the wrong side of our fabric. Okay. And then we have our front of our pillow and this is gonna go right side down to the left side. We'll put a couple pins in. They all love your shirt, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. It's a flower kind of day around it kinda here. It kind of matches the projects. It, yeah, really. <laughs> kind of funny. 
Okay, and then we are going to just set that aside for now. And Donna, no, the stabilizer or the batting does not come in your kit. So you, you do have to have that um, on and your own there. And it's any sort of fusible fusible. Yeah, you though. can use so any kind of a fusible batting. Ultrasoft, That's true. If, if you haven't used Ultrasoft, you should because you'll love it. Okay, so now I have my two back pieces. And you are going to take the one side and you are going to do your double fold. Okay, so I'm going to take... And I'm going to fold that wrong sides together and I'm just coming in like a quarter of an inch and I'm folding once and I'm coming back and folding twice. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing to one side of the long piece. Okay, so I'm coming in a quarter so of an inch. So I'm checking giving it, it once and checking it twice. There you go. Ouch. Don't, don't burn yourself. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's only warmish hot. <laughs> well, this is hot, hot. <laughs> okay. So now we have our back prepped and ready. We have our front ready. And we can just get started. And the kit is $10.99, Claudetta. So it is $10.99 for the kit this time. And there's two different kits. One's a square and one's a rectangle. Okay. And you are sewing these together add it with a quarter of an inch seam. <laughs> Did I just call Christine Santa? She is, she's checking it once and checking it twice. I don't want her finding out who's naughty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then I have now the front of my pillow and we will give this a nice press, but we're gonna create the back backings so I am going to take my back pieces and I am going to stitch that double fold together so we have a nice finish. Okay, so there's one. Yeah, I gotta check the seal on that iron. I'm gonna try to get it fixed. Yeah, we get should probably nice, working on it. We get a nice shower. We do. Uh, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do while and we're here. Yes, so Kate's class will be available to watch. It's one of our Zoom classes, Jan. So we'll um, we'll have that up and and ready to watch for as long as you want. So you can take that class over and over again. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going. Do you triple stitch this? Pardon? Lengthen your stitch length out. Yeah. Okay. With so, the triple stitch? Mm -hmm. With the triple stitch? I did. Okay. So you are going to do the triple stitch and you are going to lengthen it out to 3.5. And we are going to stitch on the sides of our burlap to keep it from fraying. Okay. So you can see like down here, it has started fraying. So we're going to stitch on either side of that to sort of prevent that, okay? And I'm doing it Do you it have to go on the inside of what's already frayed? Yeah, you want to kind of come in a little bit. Okay. Okay? And I um, am doing mine in dark brown just because I kind of think it looks cool. No particular reason other than I like it. <laughs> That's kind of cool looking stitch on that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just using a dark brown? Yep. I just like the way that it looks. Okay. And then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. How much of this do you need? Does it matter? What? Across the width. This? Yeah, do the you... The burlap? Yeah, there's a certain dimension. Is there? Um, I would have to look at the directions. That was my question, so nobody really oh. cares, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say it's like two inches. Oh, okay. But, I mean, you could have smaller or larger. It's your preference on how it looks. I probably would have <laughs> put a brown bobbin in there, too. Oh, thanks, D. I would suggest putting a brown bobbin in, but it looks fine. Okay, so we've done that. We are now going that to... That is actually called a triple stitch, Patty, and it, again, 
All machines have this, no matter what machine you have. It's a stitch that takes one stitch forward and two stitches back. So it's always gonna be on the front menu, and it again, it's just a triple stitch. Kate, we got a request to open up in Miami, Miami Township, Ohio. That would be no. <laughs> you know, that was a quick no. Okay, so now <laughs> we are gonna take our backing pieces and we are going to <laughs> lay them down. And we're gonna put some pieces, so, or not pieces, some pins in there, holding it all together. You guys amaze me how easy you pin. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me like all my thought process just to figure out how to do okay. that. So we've got that pinned together and we are going to stick. Have you only just started getting an interest into sewing, Lindsay? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, ladies, sorry, but three stores this is enough. We have our hands full. There's only one place I would open up a fourth store. Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, you're in luck. I think Kate wants to open one in Hawaii. Okay, I, I pinned this backwards according to the directions, which I don't think it really matters, but I'm going to do it what the directions say. Christine is actually sh sewing on the crescendo. That the, again, we sewed on this yesterday too. So um, that is our top of the line sewing machine. Again, it has the it, it's got a ton of features. It's a really cool machine. So One of my favorites. The directions say to do your over overlap on the side where the burlap and stuff is going to go. So I just switched mine around because I had it opposite. So that's that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just repinning cuz I am listening to the directions. <laughs> I don't know if it matters or not, but You're... I don't want to be wrong. Okay. We're going to go back to a center regular needle or regular position needle and stitch. Okay? And we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around. <laughs> Oops, that, that pinning sense. really gets you every time, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Oh. Oh, what? What's the matter? Oh, we just need a hot glue gun. Uh-oh. You're cruising. You're becoming a fast sewer, too. They're all overdrive sewers. Depends on you don't I'm need doing. to leave an opening? It's right here, silly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, okay, so now we are going to... Uh, we're going to trim our corners. Yeah, she does think she's Kate. Kate's teaching her well. <laughs> I'm me. That's right. Okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to flip and use our corner poker outers. <laughs> That's actually my favorite thing that you say. <laughs> corner poker outer? Corner poker outer. <laughs> All right, so get our corners nice and poked out. Okay. And we're going to give this whole thing a nice little press. She is using the wastebasket. I did. I even moved it. Okay. So we have the front of it. <laughs> Yay. Complete. 
And I'm gonna just do a really nice quick press here. And then we are going to create our little fluffer piece. This guy. Oh, cool. So what we need to do first. Kate, can you get us a hot glue gun? I can. Please. Like one that you can plug in? Yeah, something that works. It is really warm in Colorado, by the way. We've set three consecutive days of record highs here. Okay. So we're in the 70s. So what I would recommend, so this isn't the easiest part. Um, but I would recommend stuffing your pillow before you sew your burlap to piece together. So you know how wide your how round your pillow is going to be so you know what to sew that together. Okay? Oh, so you gotta get stuffed first? Yeah, so get your pillow stuffed and then, okay, so here, here he is. And then <laughs> you are going to measure because I think this, oh, it's actually pretty, actually really good. So I'm just going to take that and you are going to sew it. Do you it. have to trim the width on it? To get all the fuzzy things off? Nope. No? Okay. Kind of what it makes it look good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Burlappy. Makes it look country. It does make it look country. <laughs> <laughs> or farmhouse or whatever. Okay, so because I didn't put brown bobbin in my thread, I do sort of have a right and wrong, and I want the seam to be on the inside. So I'm going to take my brown thread um, that is more vivant, so that that will be on the in outside and my seam will be on the inside. Did you just say vivant? Is that a word? No, but that's okay. Vivid. Oh, vivid. Vivid. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and I, I'm going to sew it together using that triple stitch again at a lengthen. Okay. And so when I, now when I flip it, my seam will be on the inside and my brown thread is going to be showing more on the outside. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And you'll just, so you'll want your seam to be in the back. So you'll slide it on with that seam in the back. And you're gonna hot glue this too, right? Uh, no. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave it on there? Just leave it on there, yep. Oh, cool. Okay, so your seam is in the back and your burlap oh, is- Oh, look at how cool that is. On here. And then you are going to take your twine and you sort of just, holy cow. I'm gonna find the center <laughs> of You sort of, of tie my, yourself <laughs> up. And... I'm gonna find the center of my twine and all I'm going to do is like <laughs> crisscross it. So just keep coming, I'll come in the back and wrap, come in the front. So you just sort of wrap it up. Ah, cool and hope that your ends land in the front, right? <laughs> Which of course mine aren't. That's how I sort of live my life. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have your twine wrapped on there and I am just going to tie a little bow up at the top. Is that Kimberbell twine? Uh, you know what? This isn't their twine that we put in the kits, but they their twine is a little bit thinner. You can see. So this is a little bit brighter and thicker. Oh, cool, but yeah. But we were able to put it in the kits so we didn't have to open up a ton of them. Okay, oh, so I see. then okay. you have this on there, and now you'll take your little pumpkin and, oh, where'd the pumpkin go? Uh-oh. We got a missing pumpkin. Pumpkin down. Hold on. Kate? Kate? <laughs> Where's the pumpkin? Where'd the pumpkin guy go? It was on. Oh, here he is. Oh, he fell. Okay. So then I am going to take and just hot glue these on. So I'm going to take my two berries and I'm going to put them on how I want them. 
so I kind of like this. I'll probably actually pot glue them to my pumpkin first and then put my pumpkin on there and then I will have something that looks like this. <laughs> That's why she put the trash can there so we could put the pumpkin in it. And voila. That is so adorable. Okay. I really so, like that. That's, that's very really cute. cute huh? Yes, it is. Okay, so let me hot glue real quick. Okay. Wait, I want everybody oh. to watch how Christine hot glues. She even put it over there by us. Yes, she did. She didn't have to do it. She's actually got this little swirl thing, <laughs> sort of like they do at Dairy Queen with the. Um... <laughs> well, I don't think it's hot yet. Uh oh. It should be. Yeah, it should be. Is it's it been plugged hot in. On the tip? Does it not work? It's not hot enough yet. That's fine. We will do our pull flowers and come back. Okay. Do the hot. Glue. Hold, please. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Hold on. Christine is going to teach you guys how to do the pull flowers. If you guys haven't done them before, um, they're really, really fun and again, super cute. And I'll show you what. Uh, they sort of look like and again for the square pillow these again do not come in the um, in the kit but you're gonna use a whole thing of pull flowers um, just to do this one square pillow but they're they're super cute and they're really really fun okay so but I'm gonna show you also how you can cut them and make smaller flowers so we're gonna do one so we will do <laughs> it's a reindeer pumpkin. It does look like a reindeer. What does? Your pumpkin. This looks like a reindeer? No, the no, the pumpkin. Oh, with the with the little berries. horns hanging out of it. The berries. The horns. Okay. So you're going to take your pole flower off. Okay. And I there is a start and an end. And I always just pull the end so that it's basically, I have two, I have two starts. Because you don't want it to come undone. So is it knotted on the end there? Is that yes, what you're doing? Yes, it is knotted okay. on the end. Okay, so I pull that and then you kind of just create Because you're on camera with 200 people watching you. Are you struggling? Yeah. I don't really know why. Don't cut it. Okay. So then you have um, basically two longer strings, okay, on either end. So this is just the way that I've done them. And then you have something easier to work with to tying them off at the end when you're done instead of a tiny little piece. Hold on. I, do that again. I'll do it again. <laughs> but you have two strings now, okay? And you just bunch the flower up. Hold on. Okay? So that you get it as much as possible bunched up. Okay. Like so. And then you'll take your two ends and you will basically kind of just maneuver oh, look them it. together. It's like a transformer. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then you and then what I do is I will take now and tie these two together. So I have these nice really long strings where I can take and tie them together so that my flower stays nice and tight. And then I have two really nice strings to not hand sew them on. But if you were hand sewing them, um, you would you could use these strings now to hand sew your flower onto your project. So you don't need to oh, take cool. something else. So you can use what you have on the flower already to hand sew them on. But if you're gonna hot glue them like me, you would just trim, trim them. them. Tie a knot. Yep, so trim them and tie a knot and then you would place them on the um, pumpkin how you do them or how you want them. 
How cool um, is that? In the directions, it suggests before you um, put your backing on to put your flowers on so you're not constantly opening this and doing your hand sewing. So if you're gonna do that, um, you know, you might wanna wait to put your backing on, put your flowers on, and then put your backing on. But I would think that would be kind of hard because you put your backing on the front and then flip. Um, so it would be kind of hard oh, to have yeah. all that bulk there. So you can open this enough to do your hand sewing and make it look good with doing that. Once you put your backing on this one, you then stitch in the ditch so you have your flange, okay? So then you would take your and put your pull flowers on here, however you want them. Now, I'm going to show you that you can always cut these. Hold on, we got a couple of questions here. The ribbon packages are $16.95, Jermaine. Yes. So yeah, the, they're $16.95 and you get five different pulls on that. So, and our classes, Ginger, I think what you're talking about are these Facebook Lives. They are Monday through Friday. So we do these five days a week from two o'clock. We try to end by three, but sometimes we go over a little bit. So, but again, they're two o'clock. Most of them are free. Um, but um, again, if you want to find any of the projects, you can find them on our webpage, which is above and beyond sewing.com and go to the calendar tab events and you can get all of the projects that we've done since March. We've been doing this since March 17th. Yeah, somewhere around there. Kind of crazy. It is crazy. Yes. Um, so like, so now I have taken this one and I've cut it. So I've just made a smaller flower um, and you can, so you don't have to use the whole pole flower for one single flower. So you just cut it like off? Yeah, so I just cut it in half, and then you still have your two strings on either oh, end yeah, look at that. that you can pull and then create a, just a smaller version of the flower. So you don't have to use the full length. You could do probably two pillows out of just smaller flowers. Perfect. If you wanted to. So you don't have to um, use, use the whole entire thing. entire flower, yeah, which is kind of nice. So you could get twice the amount, or if you wanted to save them for another project. There you go. Good um, deal. Okay. All right. And then if not... You just glue them on and wherever you like them. Aren't they cute? And then I'll glue this on real quick. All right. We're coming over here. She's going to glue on the pumpkin, and then we'll say goodbye to you ladies for the weekend. Because sometimes our hot glue guns uh, get left on, and then they get clogged up a little bit. Oh, is that what happened? Had to melt all that dried up glue. I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem... She got me like the one hot glue gun that doesn't work. No, it looks good. No. It really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it looks one. pretty though. <laughs> it is brown glue. <laughs> yeah, you don't want brown glue, lady, okay. so that's not so good. So I'm going to flip my pumpkin over and I'm going to is take... Is there a right and wrong side on that? Um, You can sort of tell... Um, how? Because of how... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you it. Can yep. just, you can yep. sort of tell. Um, the this is obviously a lot more shinier. The thread looks a little bit nicer, but either way. Did you see the little thing that she does with the glue in that cute? <laughs> the swirl. That's right. She's got the Dairy Queen squirrels. <laughs> Squirrel, did I say? S Swirl. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna put a bunch right here. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to pop them on here. And we're done. And we've got the pumpkin and berries. Isn't so that cute. cute? All right. All right. Well, thank you. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. And we went made it through another week. So we are, um, I hope you all have a great weekend. It's supposed to be snowing again on Sunday and Monday. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I know. So we will see you all on Monday. I hope you guys have a pumpkin spice. That's right. Exactly. It is perfect. All right. Everybody have a great weekend and we'll talk to you on Monday. Bye everybody.